Hey guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl, and I'm here at Bush Gardens, Tampa, Florida, and it's the season. We are in December now, which means all the theme parks are pretty much decorated in Christmas lights. Now, um, right behind me, I'm over here by the Serengeti um, Overlook, and we already have displayed by the Cheetah Hunt this really awesome Christmas tree. See for yourself. telling you this is you know an amazing thing to see this is why I always like coming to Bush Gardens is because they have a lot more decorations than most of the others do I could I mean I could be wrong but I find this to be very decorative to me so we're gonna walk around the park and we're gonna show all the Christmas lights that Bush Gardens has to offer so come along with me Now this technically is a haunted house. I think it would have been, you know, cute if they actually decorated with lights, but it's a, it's a pity. I, I would have, I think it would have been hilarious if they decorated a haunted house with Christmas lights. I still have yet to be on this ride. I'm gonna have to make a note of this when I come back to give this place a try. You can barely see them, man. Look at them go. This is what I've been looking for. This was once the, um, there was a roller coaster here and originally the Phoenix was here, but now they're gonna have a roller coaster called the Phoenix Rising. And from what I was told, um, it's based off of another roller coaster in another state. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. If not, you'll see uh, what I posted here in this video. But uh, I'm a little curious. This is supposed to extend just like um, the cheetah hunt. It's supposed to be extending far beyond the areas of the park. And so it looks like the Montu, but you know, it, it's probably it's based off of another ride. So I look forward to when this comes out because there are so many rides that I still have yet to do the Serengeti Flyer, Phoenix Rising. So again, I look forward to when this comes out. This is over by uh, Shikra and Tigris. You have cookies and cocoa. So this looks promising. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here when the line's a little shorter to give this place a try. Cause like I said, this looks delicious.
and that's the difference you can tell. So Shikra was back here. This takes you to Tigris. Again, this is one of the many reasons why I love coming to Bush Gardens around Christmas time. Um, I used to, I was going to do a video where I went to all the parks for Christmas, which I did. Um, but that was like, oh, that was pre-COVID. And what I did was I was comparing in my mind which, you know, park had the better decorations when it comes to Christmas. And for a time, I was really rooting for Disney. But then suddenly they took down the Christmas lights that were decorating the castle. And they're not going to do it anymore. And right now they're doing projections. This pretty much became my top number one. Universal, I would definitely have to say, would be um, second place because I love it for its parade. And because it's a broad park, there are decorations. But like I said, this place is lit up. And we didn't even cover half of it. Uh, we, we, only, well, we probably already covered half of it because I still have to go to Sesame Street, which is my favorite place, because that place is very decorative. It, uh, it's like the color of crayons and it's lively and I love the way it looks. But you know, as you can see just all around you, everything about this place is just illuminating and screaming Christmas. And you know, this is fun for the family. This is fun for the family. And that's why there are so many places to bring your kids to when it comes to the parks. But definitely Bush Gardens is the place to go for your kids because one, you get to see Santa, you get to see Rudolph, you get to see the Ice Princess and many more. So again, this is definitely a place for families that I highly recommend. Okay, so they have a performance, once again for the kids, for Christmas, over this amphitheater. Yeah, 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 this is the poinsettia area. This is their mark, as to be expected. But I wonder if the poinsettia queen or princess is here. And please, when you're there, don't forget to buy the hot chocolate because it was really good. Damn, that's good. This is over by the Ain Guazi, festive in all of its Guazi colors. I love it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, you can check out my previous adventures around my favorite theme parks by clicking on this playlist.